This tactics rating is frightening, it's 3000 almost 400, but becomes easy when we know that next move we are made and what can we do? Right, only giving check. We have a, a stupid check mm, with queen h3, right, it's mm, definitely rank. We have a check with the knight, we have a check with the queen there. In both of the latter two cases, king can go to f1, but in the case of not mm, f4, if king goes to f1, we deliver mate on b1 by queen because e2 and g2 are occupied. So this is the most restrictive one. We have a stupid knight check because mm, as is stupid because it goes to f1, then we don't have a good continuation for it. So we give a queen check. What is the formula? Right, continuous checking. And again, formula, give a check with the knight or with the queen. Of course, with the knight attacks our knight and next move, we cannot save a knight. And most important piece of the game, our king. Therefore, we should give a check with the queen in one of the squares. Where do we have continuation? Here and here. Here is where many made the mistake. They saw that we give a check and then deliver mate on b2. But king comes to d1 and it's not a mate. And it means that we should move the queen. Of course, a stupid queen in c5 is beautiful, but we lose a queen. So this queen should give a check in the back rank. Where do you put the queen? Notice that we would to, mm, like to coordinate our pieces as much as we can, all right? The knight defends these two squares. So you want to go to a square that knight supports you in the future. This is that square. And where do you put the queen to mate the next move? Right here. 